What's up YouTube? I'm Robert and this is the Biker Channel. You're about to join me on episode 3 of my 80 pound vlog. Three months ago, I decided I wanted to lose 80 pounds riding bike and um, this month, things don't go so smooth. Three months ago, I sat right here and I told you I wanted to lose 80 pounds and that seemed extremely daunting, but mentally I was ready to go. I stepped on the scale and for the first time in my life, I weigh 300 pounds. That's not a good thing. At this point, what I've been doing is pretty much routine. Monday through Friday, I ride the road bike on a 20 mile loop from the house. Sometimes we'll put down 30 or 40 instead. Since I've started the weight loss, I've ridden 1,100 miles on the road bike. I've definitely been getting my miles on the mountain bike as well. Between the road and the mountain, I've logged 1,455 miles and over 54,000 feet of elevation. Ultimately, I'm a mountain biker and riding the road bike is just not that fun. Unfortunately, the trails, they're not so close to me, so getting on the road bike's pretty easy right out the door. But I do ride the mountain bike, hopefully once during the week and both days on the weekend super happy with my level of fitness it's just crazy when you come out here and you know how a ride would normally feel whenever you're doing like kind of the regular weekend warrior stuff this is like a different level 12 miles and 2200 feet of climbing and i'm not really feeling weak i'm like still charging stuff definitely a huge difference in the way that i'm riding my recovery is fast I just have like a way different stamina on, on the climbing. I'm still not a fast climber, but I'm faster than I was. So that's pretty cool. It's fun being a mediocre climber and a good defender still. <laughs> this garage used to be all fun and games, live streaming the biker bar, um, drinking all the beers with the buddies. But unfortunately, nowadays, this place has been a little bit more of a gym than a bar. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's about 30 to 45 minutes of working out. I like to do things that are balance related because they add core strength and I can honestly say it's been a huge part of why my riding has improved. Doing exercises that include lunges and squats, they're also proving to be pretty beneficial. I just can't say that working out alone has led to all my gains. I've been riding a ton, like every day of the week for the last three months, minus a couple of days. All the rides in blue are road and the green ones, that's MTB. The only days that I've missed riding is because the air quality in Northern California has been so bad. However, because of that, it's made for some pretty fun times chasing the clean air around Northern California. Like, Heading out to Downeyville. Good morning. <laughs> it's Labor Day and it's like five o'clock in the morning getting ready to go to Downeyville. But before I do that, gotta weigh in first time for this month's vlog. At this point, I truly expected to drop the water weight from the birthday weekend and then some. Goodness gracious. Instead, I got back to the weight that I was at in the morning of my birthday before all the festivities. It definitely got in my head, but Downeyville has its way of making things better. I made it through the waterfall on my first try, and Moonlight, he nailed a new line. Woo! <laughs> I really wanted to lose 40 pounds by my birthday, and the morning of, I was really close. But as you can see in my last video, the scale didn't play out that way. I have to like come clean with you guys that it's been a rough week for me. Whenever I gained the weight at the end of the last video, I really thought that it was 100% like just water, kind of maybe a pound or two would, was actually my body retaining weight. So this week coming into the weigh-in, I really expected to beat and surpass the the weight that I was at before like basically catch up that five pounds and pass it I, I think in my head I was really considering to be in the 50s so the 250s so I was like really thought that that's what was going to happen 
So when I stood on the scale on Monday and I just like, like equaled what I was right before my birthday party, it really, it hurt. It hurt because I didn't expect that. Like I really didn't expect it. So after we rode Downeyville, I was like, even though I was in a great mood, I, I was like, you know, kind of like in a little bit of a fuck it mood. And I was like, I'm going to have a beer. And you know what? Let's just, I'm going to have some pizza today because we just did this fun ass ride and it seems like bullshit to, to not have a little celebration in Downeyville like we always do. So I had a beer. I actually didn't finish it, but I had most of it. Then I had some pizza and then we drove home and for dinner I had chicken wings and I was kind of having like a little bit of a pity party. I wasn't doing right. Like, I don't know, like, I was just letting myself, like, sabotage this next week, I guess. I'm going to treat this morning. I'm uh, either going to make my way into the 50s, like I've been trying for a while, or it's not going to go well. Last week, I definitely wasn't being as strict as I could have been on my diet. And I'm feeling like it's like, I'm partially happy that I've lost like almost 40 pounds and I think I'm making excuses to like let shit slide. So let's see, um, let's see how this goes. Am I being too hard on myself or is it um, the factual? You know, it feels really good to know that I was just being hard on myself. That's freaking awesome. I'm really happy. Oh my God, I didn't think that was going to happen. <sighs> that really made me emotional. Yesterday's weigh-in really got to me emotionally. I uh, welled up. I mean, it made me want to cry. And I think there was a couple of reasons for it. First of all, I think I've been putting a lot of stress on myself to meet these goals. And I mean, on the other end, I'm putting it out there on the internet. So you definitely feel a weight of responsibility when you're showing your progress to that many people. The other end of it, like some of it was happiness though too. And it's like, I crossed that 40 pound mark. I crossed the halfway mark. I'm more than halfway there now. I've lost 42 pounds. I only have 39 to go. That is so freaking cool and so motivating. But on the other hand, I'm also like struggling with my motivation right now, struggling on eating right, struggling on getting into the garage here and working out. So that compounds the stress. So um, here we are two weeks into this month, down 10 pounds, definitely slowing. The pace is slowing and um, We'll see what happens for the next two weeks. I'm not getting ahead of myself just yet. As the month went on, there were good days that I was super motivated. And then there were days that I weren't. And I um, instead would be like, hey guys, let's go get some wings or tacos and a beer. And um, my plan of not drinking in September, it kind of fell apart. Way in Monday, week three, month three. Who knows what's going to happen. I'm not expecting like any groundbreaking weight loss this week, but um, feeling like should be decent. So let's see where we're at. Not much. Two pounds. So two pounds, which actually I'm not super upset about to tell you the truth. 
I'm um, I'm starting to get a little bit more into I'm all right with the lower weight loss weeks. I'll explain that here in a little bit once I get some clothes on. So here we are, three weeks in, man. And uh, so far this month, I'm 12 pounds down. So it's definitely not as fast as the first month. The first month I lost 20 pounds. The second month, if you count the zero from um, the birthday party weekend, I lost 12 pounds. And this month, I'm at 12 pounds right now. And we have a birthday party next weekend. So that's the lady's birthday. At this point, I'm, um, I'm not going to be as much of a Nazi anymore. At this point, I'm going to stop being as strict on the diet. And I'm going to start letting some like normalcy back in my life. So what do I mean by that? A good example is like the other night, whenever I went riding with my buddies, we got done riding, we went and had chicken wings. It was fun. I um, didn't have any beer, but that's one of the things too that I'm going to start kind of letting back in, you know. Um, it's not sustainable for me to be eating like perfectly healthy all the time and never having some after ride beers or things that I enjoy like pizza or something like that. What I really wanted to do was be pretty strict for the first two months to set up some routines and some habits. And then this third month, um, just kind of wanted to slowly kind of easing it up a little bit. So there've been a few circumstances where, you know, I just was like, Hey, I'm going to let loose for tonight and it's not going to matter. So this weekend is the lady's birthday and, um, we're going to go up to Tahoe and have a good time. I'm sure there's going to be some, some drinks to be had. There's going to be some food to be had. I'm going to start into month four, kind of just seeing where I can continue to do all the training that I'm doing and still lose the 37 pounds that I have to go. But now I'll kind of step it down into more of, um, I'm not putting so much pressure on myself to get big numbers and we'll see what happens. So the thing that I'm most afraid of is in this process of finding out what I can and can't get away with and still lose weight that I'm going to have a week that I'm adding weight. I'm going to gain weight. It's going to happen. It hasn't happened yet. I know it's going to happen. We'll see what that does to my, uh, what that does to my spirit. You know, does it charge me up and make me more motivated? Does it beat me up a little bit? So let's see what that last weigh in comes in at. And, uh, We'll go from there and we'll be on to month four just like that. Super fun birthday weekend for the lady. Lots of riding bikes, cold beers, potato chips, you name it. We had it all. So we'll see how today goes. Well, I knew that was going to happen eventually. I even vlogged about it on that last video. In case you guys forgot, my buddy Joshua, a daily MTV rider, challenged me to a weight loss competition. And we extended that to all of you guys. If you want to follow his story, make sure you go over to his channel and check it out. And if you're joining in this weight loss too, then go ahead and make a video about it. Put the hashtag tubby2020 on the first line of your show more, and you'll be entered to win just like that. You can pick up some cool prizes like a brand new helmet and some pads from Cali. And we're still working on some other stuff, but as it is right now, there's only one dude that made a video. So your chances of winning are pretty good. And if you drop a video, his are going down. <laughs> so here we are, three months in, down 42 pounds. And what do I do? I gain two pounds this week. What do I do from here? After putting these red magnets on the garage door, I'm angry. No, I'm pissed. I'm not having this. I'm not letting Josh off the hook this easy. I'm not bullshitting myself about this diet and how I need to be sustainable so that I can make excuses for why I can drink beer and eat like crap. I'm not doing this. I'm not taking this last month easy 
and I'm taking that weight gain after seeing those red magnets up there and I'm grabbing that thing by its throat and I'm gonna freaking give it everything I have for this last month. So if you've been watching and you've been thinking about losing weight, then get on it, make it happen, do it, get after it, do it with me. If you're feeling inspired, hit the like button. If you wanna see how I do next month, hit the subscribe button. And remember one thing, it only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and be one.